How great to see you! Welcome to my lounge! I'm busy just decorating my Christmas tree. You've just caught me in the middle of it. I love doing this job. Have you got a Christmas tree up yet? Have you decorated yours? I wonder what's on your Christmas tree. I'm just putting a few baubles on and some stars. Making it look nice and bright and cheerful for this time that we are in. I'm busy getting ready. We're in a special time at the moment and it's all about getting ready. We're in a time called Advent and Advent is all about getting ready for Christmas. I wonder what you've been doing to get ready for Christmas. Maybe you've decorated your Christmas tree. Have you eaten any mince pies yet? I certainly have. Yum. Maybe you've written a few Christmas cards. Have you bought any Christmas presents? What have you been doing to get ready for Christmas this year? Why don't you talk to somebody sitting near you about the things that you're doing to get ready for Christmas? an exciting time of year when there's so many things to look forward to and get involved with and I want today to just help us to think about some of the special things about Christmas and no I'm not talking about all the good Christmas films that we're going to get to watch I want us to be thinking about what as a Christian is the most important part about Christmas for me and believe me I love all of it the most important part for me about Christmas is getting to remember and celebrate that Jesus, the Son of God, was born as a baby. And today we're going to use our Christmas tree to help us think about that and some of the things that are on it. So let's have a look at the Christmas tree. What can it tell us about this very special time of year? Well, we start with the tree, an evergreen. It doesn't ever lose its leaves. It always stays green all year. And that helps me to remember that God's love is ever there. That it never fades and it never goes and it never changes and it never looks like it's died. It's always there, just like an evergreen tree is. And then there's some of the things that we might put on our Christmas tree. I've got a bell here and not so much now but you might just hear some churches ringing their bells on Christmas Day calling people to come and worship Jesus the Son of God. We have bells at this time of year and then we also sometimes have angels. Maybe you put an angel on the top of your Christmas tree. I put something else. We'll see what that is in a minute. But we have angels on our Christmas trees. I'm going to put these on mine if I can find a space. We have angels at Christmas. Do you remember the story? That angels are in the story a lot at Christmas. The angel came to Mary when she was at her home in Nazareth to tell her that she was going to have a very special baby and that nine months later she was going to give birth to this special baby. And Mary and Joseph then, if you remember, they have to travel all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem just as Mary's ready to have her baby. And that very same night there are some shepherds who are out in their fields taking care of the sheep when it goes from a dark dark night to the sky being lit up with angels, angels singing praises to God and angels telling the shepherds that the Messiah, their saviour has been born in Bethlehem and that they should go and visit him and they hurried down the hill to go and be the very first people to visit Jesus. Ordinary people just like you and me doing their ordinary work getting to go and have an extraordinary moment meeting 
the baby Jesus. Angels were really important in that story. And then we think about what goes on the top of my Christmas tree. I wonder if one of these goes on the top of your Christmas tree. It's a star. The very night that Jesus was born, a brand new star appeared in the sky. Some people call it the Star of Bethlehem. There we go. And hundreds of miles away, there were some wise men. And they studied the star. Mr. Housen calls them star watchers sometimes. And they studied the stars and they saw this new star appear in the sky. And they knew that it meant that someone important, the saviour of the world, had been born. And so they packed up all their things and they travelled hundreds of miles following this star until finally they reached Jesus and they brought him those precious gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh to worship the saviour of the world, God's son. So what have we got? We've got bells, we've got angels, we've got the star and then we've got lights. There are lights everywhere at Christmas. Do you look at them on other people's houses? I certainly do. They're beautiful. And we have lights on our Christmas tree too. And they make our Christmas trees shine brightly. You might notice I've got a candle lit as well. And in churches at this time of year, we often light candles. One for each week of Advent and then an extra special one on Christmas Day. And we light these candles and we have these lights because one of the names of Jesus is Light of the World. And at this time of the year, we remind ourselves that Jesus brings us light and hope. And he comes to light up our lives on the inside. And that he can light up the right way for us to live our lives and the way to be friends with God. And so we have lights on our Christmas tree. I wonder if yours are multicoloured like these ones, or I wonder if they're just white lights that I have on one of my other Christmas trees. We have lights, we have the star, we have angels, we have bells, and then, hopefully, underneath and around our Christmas tree, we might have some gifts. I've got one gift under my Christmas tree already. This one's for Mr. Housen, don't tell him. And we have gifts. Because giving gifts is such a wonderful thing to do. It makes me feel so good watching somebody open a gift that I've given them. But also we have gifts to remind us of the most special gift that we have in Jesus. That at this time of year we remember that God in heaven sent his son Jesus to be born as a baby as a gift to us so that we could see just what God is like and how much he loves every single one of us and that Jesus is our gift this Christmas when we say yes to him. This is such a special time of year and I hope that you have the most wonderful time. I hope that you get to watch lots of Christmas films and drink hot chocolate and have some presents and enjoy celebrating at school. Have you got your Christmas jumper ready yet? But I hope this Christmas as well. Every time you look at your Christmas tree, you will remember that God's love goes on forever and that his gift to us this year and every year is his son Jesus who is the light of the world and brings us God's love and hope and joy always. I'm going to say a prayer to finish today just like we always do. Maybe you'd like to pray this prayer too and say amen at the end with me. Here's my prayer. Dear God, thank you for Advent and Christmas. Thank you for all of the fun things we get to do. Please would you help me to remember your gift of Jesus, the Son of God, 
and light of the world. Amen. It's been lovely to come and see you today. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you very soon. Merry Christmas!